guys, I'm back with the second part of the Q&A. And I'm also going to have some random stuff at the end, so stay tuned for that. Thank you all so much for watching these videos. And if you would, please subscribe. It just makes it very convenient for you that when there's a new video out, it comes straight to your email. And that would be great, so thank you. I'm going to jump right into the questions. Number one being, what do you do for your eyeliner and how do you do your eyeliner? So I typically use a Sharpie pen type of eyeliner. I've used the Kat Von D Tattoo Eyeliner, the Tom Ford Duo Pen, which is my favorite, but I'm currently out of both of those. So what I'm using now, and I do do this sometimes as well, I'm using this Bobbi Brown Gel Eyeliner, and then I'm using this Tiny Little Brush. It is a, I think it's a Sephora, no, it's a Makeup Forever Professional Brush, number 250. So what you're gonna do is just get some of that gel liner on there, and then I like to take it and just kind of dole it out on the top lid to make sure it's not too, there's not too much product on there. So I purposefully did not put on any eyeliner today so I could show you all how I do this. But I pull my skin and then I start at the corner and just create a wing. And then go all the way across. Now you can choose whether you want to go all the way across or stop mid-eye and you can blend it in to where you can't really tell that the liner is ending. But I usually like to take it all the way over. And it is a little bit easier to do with the Sharpie type eyeliner pen thing. But if you want to get really pigmented color and if you want it to stay on a long time, this Bobbi Brown gel works really well so that's what I do and then sometimes I'll just take my finger and flick it up even more and then go over it again and make it a little bigger so it just depends on how much time you want to spend on it it's a lot easier with the Tom Ford pen which is my favorite but I need to order a new one so I'm gonna do that as soon as I finish this video but that's what I do just to even it out for the rest of the video. I'm going to go ahead and do this side just so it doesn't look crazy and it's not distracting to you all. And I have seen the YouTubers that use the tape and all of that stuff. And I've just done it every single day for so many days that it's now super easy for me. But if you're just starting out, you know, it might be easier for you to use the tape or something to put right there so that you don't mess up your line. But I have done it every single day for a year or more now. So I'm pretty much a winged eyeliner pro. And this was the Bobbi Brown in the Little Brush. And I'll put those links below. But that was someone's question, what do you do for eyeliner? The next question that someone asked is, how did Rob and I meet and where? So Rob and I are coincidentally, randomly both from Kentucky. He lived in Memphis but then his parents moved to Kentucky and then he moved back to Memphis and then I've always been from Kentucky so we were both from Kentucky but we randomly ended up at the same law school in Florida so we met in law school in Florida and then we both hated it so he got a job offer here in Memphis and we were both just kind of like let's drop out of law school so we did and we moved to Memphis so that's where it all started and we've been here ever since and we do not regret at all dropping out of law school so I guess that's a personal choice for you if you are currently in law school and you don't like it whether you want to finish or just go ahead and drop out but um, we just felt like it was not something that we wanted to do nor spend the money on because law school is so expensive so it was a good choice for us all right the next question is what is your favorite song? So I think my all-time favorite song would probably be Bittersweet Symphony by The Verve. It's in Cruel Intentions and it's such like a 90s song. But I love that song and every time it's on 90s on 9, I turn it up and jam out. So the next question, if you could be one age forever, what would what age would you be? And I don't really know how to answer that question, I guess. Probably the age that I am now, I feel pretty good at this age. In the 20s, you're just kind of still trying to figure everything out. Um, high school is fun, but you're not really 
on your own yet. So I really do like the 30s. I'm not sure what that exact age would be, but probably somewhere in the 30s range. So I'll be 32 in November. So I'm going to just say 31 where I am right now. All right. They also said, what is your best piece of advice? And I don't really know that I have a piece of advice, but I like advice that's given to me. And something that somebody said recently was to, instead of running away from your fears and your insecurities, that you should lean into them and do things that challenge you and, and that you are scared of. So I've been trying to do that a lot lately and it's it's really working out well for me. So I didn't really want to do these videos at first when I started my vlog back, but I thought this is something that is challenging and it will take a lot of time, but I'm just going to I'm going to lean in and I'm going to do it. And so that's what I'm doing. And it's turned out to be pretty cool. So it's something that now I look forward to whereas before I would have never thought that I would like to do these videos. So that's probably the piece of advice. All right, somebody else said, what is your favorite thing about Memphis? So we love living in Memphis. It has great options for food, a lot of different restaurants, very good restaurants. And you would think that Rob and I being that we're both, he's vegan and I'm vegetarian, that there really wouldn't be a lot of options here considering it's like the barbecue capital, but there really are a lot of good restaurant options and we really like to eat out. So that's probably my favorite thing about Memphis. Um, not to mention the low cost of living, which is pretty awesome that it's a cool city and it has a very low cost of living. So a house here that would cost $800,000 in like California or somewhere else is like $200,000 here. So it's kind of crazy, but um, that's probably my favorite thing about Memphis. So somebody else asked, what is your favorite thing to use for under eye circles? So I talked about this a couple of videos ago. This is probably a cheap, the cheaper option and they'll do the more expensive option. This is the Rock Retinol Eye Cream. I got it at Target and I've been using it for about a month. I really like it. It visibly reduces dark circles and puffiness. So I really like this a lot. And then this is something that I got randomly in a sample bag from one of the stores that I got a cosmetic item from. And I've never heard of this brand, but it's Three Lab Super Eye Treatment. And it really works well. So I've been kind of layering these two because this is more thick. So I put this on first and then I put this on after. And it's a really good combination. So that's kind of what is working for me right now. As far as under eye circles, I don't really know that there's something that you can do to get them to completely go away. I've watched so many videos on like anti-aging and different things that you can do for certain things to do with anti-aging and everybody pretty much says there's like nothing really that you can do about the dark circles. There are things that you can do about the, the hollows so you can get filler if they're like super prominent or um, I mean, you could even go as far as like getting an eye lift, but um, just as far as, you know, what creams to use, these are two that I like. Okay, somebody else asked, what are your favorite fall fragrances? I recently got this, a sample of this uh, Mason Margiela Paris Replica lipstick on scent, and it is one of my favorites. It smells so good. It's like a light powdery scent. And the story with this brand is it's supposed to um, evoke certain moments in time. So this one says Chicago 1952. I have smelled a lot of the scents from this line, this replica line, and I don't like many of them. But when I got the sample of this one, I loved it. So it says that it's night blush and rice powder. Um, it I don't know how to explain it. It just smells so good and I would highly recommend getting a sample of it. I liked it so much that I got it at Sephora. And then this is another scent that I really like. This is Le Labo and it's Rose 31. I really like rose scents, anything rose. So like rose candles, rose water, rose macaroons. So this Rose 31 is very, very good. I got this in Las Vegas, and the cool thing about Le Labo is if you get it at the store, they put like your name on it and the date and where you got it. So that's another one that I really like. All right, those end the questions, but really quick, I just wanted to 
show you all. I talked about this item in the Splurge versus Steel, the Amazon camel kind of like blanket jacket. I don't really know how to explain it. So I read the reviews on it before I got it and the reviews were like, it's basically a blanket with holes in it. But I think these are people that don't really know how to wear it. So I got it in and for $24.99, I think it's pretty well made. It's thick, it's a nice material, and yeah, the edges are kind of like raw edges, but I think it would look so cute over like a dress like I have on today with some booties. And I'm gonna try to wear it once it gets a little cooler. It's supposed to be cooler here this week. So maybe I'll take some pictures and show you all what it looks like on. But I like it and it came in a lot of different colors. So I think there was even like a houndstooth one. So if you're an Alabama fan, you know, that'd be cute over like a maroon dress for a game. But I'm really into Amazon right now. I mean, I'm always into Amazon, but I've just started looking at their clothes. I never looked at the clothes that were on there before and you can get stuff for $24.99, $22.99, $19.99. So I'm just going to randomly start ordering stuff and just see how it turns out. But so far, so good for the first item. And I like it. I'll try to wear it this week and show you all. So those are all of the things that I wanted to talk about today. I'm going to do another video this week about some new beauty products that I've gotten, including something that helps tone and lift your face and also a new cleanser and moisturizer. So stay tuned for those and don't forget to subscribe. Bye.